so let's, uh, as we start talking about the mountain, it's waltz time, which is something worth practicing. Um, standard bum ditty for 4-4 four, four time is, you know, bum ditty, bum ditty. Whereas waltz time, 3-4 time, is more of a bum ditty ditty. So. difference it's kind of a different lope to it um, I think it's a very elegant sort of uh, lope and especially in claw hammer that's just something that's really nice about it so definitely practice that a bit get used to the feel of that before uh, before trying to tackle this song because the melody sort of flows through that lope and um, it's just worth practicing. Waltz is wonderful in Clawhammer. So once you have that kind of basic waltz ditty down, you can start adding some <clears throat> other elements like drop thumb to it, which is going to be pretty, you know, it's featured pretty heavily in this uh, arrangement. <clears throat> so um, start by practicing things like Placing that last ditty with a so give that a try and kind of see if you can make that feel <clears throat> comfortable and that should set you up for starting to learn this arrangement so let's talk about that first line the basic pattern that I'm using um, in that first line <clears throat> I'm not using the first string I'm I'm only using really this uh, the the second and third strings um, it, and it's and it's involves a drop thumb see so, so the struggle the challenge there and probably worth practicing just using these inner strings like that is I'm doing a drop thumb. I'm doing a drop thumb on the third string and then I'm followed immediately with a strike on the third string. So I would practice that a little bit next, just kind of get comfortable with doing that on those inner strings. Um, because this first line is kind of all melody sliding around on the third string. It's kind of a dance, you know? So this arrangement basically just cycles between the open chord and the relative G tuning to the E minor chord shape. So the notes basically follow that second fret area. Um, in my arrangement, I'm kind of sliding around in the blue notes and stuff to make it a little bit more interesting. But the essential melody, which is I just eared out, is on the third string second fret it's pretty much all there is to this first phrase and you can 
do some embellishments or whatever, but this is just kind of the basic. And then the, it follows up by descending from there. basically the whole first phrase. Now the second half of the verse um, does something very similar, um, except that instead of going up higher, the way the first phrase, the first, the verse opens up. In the second half of the verse, it goes. See how it kind of just stayed in those second and third strings. same phrase to descend. So if we're just going to claw hammer that basic idea, let's just kind of use your basic rhythms that you understand for waltz and claw hammer. This is all just filler in between the phrases. It's kind of a little dance. Second phrase. It's just a very, it's kind of a basic um, song and the rest of it is just kind of ornamental to make it all more interesting and flowy. So the way I made it more flowy and interesting rhythmically is just by using syncopation and drop thumb and sliding around to find these notes instead of, instead of writing on this second string. See how it's, and a lot of times I will not quite get there just to give it that sort of bluesy, lonesome feeling. But, Just little rhythmical things like that to add interest in between the phrases. I was born on this mountain a long time ago. She holds me and keeps me from moving in And that's basically the whole song. And then the little instrumental break in between the uh, verses towards the end and at the end, I basically played the same thing except to just try to um, make it a little bit more interesting. So like instead of finishing the verse with
finish it with the, you know, fifth fret on the first string. So I'd do a little drop thumb slide up on the second string. Followed up with a, that slide down on the third string. And then finish the same way. You can do other things like sounds kind of nice too I like it um, but really a lot of it's just ornamentation around all that the simple basic melody <laughs> 